James Charles graduated from high school in 2017. It wasn't an easy experience since he got bullied, but he ignored and pushed through it. He got started in makeup after helping his friend do hers for a dance at school. He then taught himself how to do it and started doing it professionally for other people. While he worked as a local makeup artist in New York, James started his YouTube channel. He posted makeup tutorials, and by 2016, he became the first male ambassador for CoverGirl. He worked with fellow ambassador Katy Perry. By 2019, Charlie's had over 10 million subscribers on YouTube. He also had the same amount of followers on Instagram. His net worth was around $12 million that year. Ninja graduated from high school and never went the college route. He instead focused on competing in Halo 3 professionally and streaming. He played for Cloud9, Team Liquid, Renegades, and Luminosity Gaming. Besides Halo, he streamed H1Z1, Player Uncone Battlegrounds, and Fortnite Battle Royale on Twitch. By 2018, Ninja had over 2 million followers. He also broke the records for the most viewers for an individual stream with 635,000, and 667,000 viewers live. Ninja made around $10 million in 2018. Ninja said he was making over $500,000 a month streaming Fortnite. That same year, Ninja had almost 100 million views in a single month on his YouTube channel. He also gained over 2 million subscribers. He left Twitch in 2018 to join Mixer, a streaming platform by Microsoft. Mixer shut down in 2020 and partnered with Facebook Gaming. Ninja then returned to Twitch. Vanos Gaming is a music producer, video game commentator, and DJ. He studied economics in college and started his channel in 2011. His parents had concerns when he began to shift his focus toward his YouTube channel. Vanos Gaming waited until his channel was successful before dropping out his sophomore year. In 2015, he had over 10 million subscribers. He got the name Vanos Gaming from Vanos. It's a variable valve timing system produced by BMW. Evan's father used to play under Vanos 62. That name came from the S62 engine used on the BMW M5. See a pattern here? Vanos Gaming then took up the mantle. Vanos Gaming produces and performs music as rinks. He released his first album, In Pieces, in October 2019. He then released a remixed version of that album in July 2020. He was a voice actor for the YouTube premium series Paranormal Action Squad. And for the animated series Alpha Betas, the pilot episode aired on his channel in March 2021. Dude Perfect is a group of former college roommates. They all studied at Texas A&M. The members are Corey and Kobe Cotton, Cody Jones, Tyler Tony, and Garrett Hilbert. Their content is primarily stunts and trick shots. They also have good-natured games or contests against each other. Dude Perfect got started on YouTube in 2009. It was a trick shot video filmed at Tyler Tony's ranch. Then they filmed a video at Sky Ranch which is a Christian summer camp. This video got over 18 million views. For every 100,000 views the video received, Dude Perfect sponsored a child from Compassion International. ESPN reached out to Dude Perfect after their videos went viral. Their videos then appeared on various ESPN shows. They continued to stay involved in sports. Dude Perfect has collaborations and endorsements from players in various professional leagues. They range from the NBA, NFL, NASCAR, volleyball, and tennis. Rhett and Link met in the first grade in an elementary school in North Carolina. They made a documentary about this meeting called Looking for Ms. Lockler. One day, they got caught writing swear words on their desks. That's how they got the name of their most popular YouTube channel, Good Mythical Morning. They weren't allowed to go to recess and had to stay inside instead. They received coloring books that had mythical creatures in them. Rhett and Link went on to be roommates at North Carolina State University. They studied civil and industrial engineering respectfully. They both worked in their chosen field for a time. Rhett and Link also made videos and comedic sketches for an organization called Crew. They worked and developed as a duo before working as entertainers full-time. 
They currently run five YouTube channels and brought the Smosh brand in 2019. Dan TDM played Pokemon in Counter-Strike, Global Offensive under Pokemon Danville 45 in 2009. He then started his main channel, The Diamond Minecart, in 212. His primary focus on the channel was Minecraft. He continued to play other games as well. He set a Guinness World Record for most views for a dedicated Minecraft video channel. Dan TDM also set the record for most goals scored in a Rocket League game by a team of two and three players. In 2016, he changed his channel into the famous name today known as Dan TDM. In the same year, he wrote a bestseller called Draoris and the Enchanted Crystal. This book was on the New York Times bestseller list for hardcover graphic books for almost three months. In 2017, he went on a book tour and starred in a web series called Dan TDM Creates a Big Scene. It premiered on YouTube Red, which is YouTube's subscription service. It ran for six episodes. Markiplier joined YouTube in 2012. He started off doing sketch comedy where he would play every character in the sketch. That's how he got the name Markiplier. A mix between Mark and Multiplier. Before YouTube banned his AdSense account, he played video games on that channel. He went on to create a new one called Markiplier Game later that year. Markiplier moved to Los Angeles in 2014 and focused on Let's Play videos. His breakthrough playthrough of Five Nights at Freddy's. This series now has over 80 million views. He continued to play FNAF games and even had a cameo in Five Nights at Freddy's R, Special Delivery. By 2018, Markiplier already had over 20 million subscribers. In 2019, Markiplier made a new YouTube channel called Unisanis with Ethan Nestor. They made a video a day for a year. After the year was up, they would delete the entire channel, along with its content. Unis Anis gained over a million subscribers and over 11 million views in its first week. Before deleting it in 2020, Markiplier and Ethan did a live stream, which peaked at 1.5 million viewers. PewDiePie became famous for his commentary on video games. He played games while commenting on his experiences and displaying his hilarious reactions. There weren't any big gaming channels at the time, so PewDiePie's rise came at the perfect time. PewDiePie's interests in high school were art and gaming. He bought a computer by selling his art. He also used to skip classes to play video games with friends. PewDiePie graduated from high school in 2008. Then he dropped out of Chalmers University of Technology in 2011. He left due to a lack of interest in his current studies at the time. The early days weren't easy. Felix supported himself by selling Photoshop art working as a harbor captain, and on a hot dog stand. He even almost got an apprenticeship at a well-known advertising agency in Scandinavian. Everything worked out in the end, as Felix had 5 million subscribers in 2012, which was the most at the time. Now he's the most subscribed individual user channel on YouTube. He's the third most subscribed channel as well. Ryan's World started on YouTube channel in 2015. He watched toy review channels and asked, why isn't he on YouTube when other kids are? His mom quit her job and worked on Ryan's World full-time. The name used to be Ryan Toys Review. His family also changed their surname, Guan, to his on-screen surname, Kaji. They currently run nine YouTube channels. These channels cover toy reviews. They also cover DIY science experiences and Ryan participating in various challenges. They also have channels in Spanish and Japanese. A lot of the toys Ryan's World Reviews get donated to charity. They also give them away to friends and family. Ryan's World has a branded clothing and toys line which is also called Ryan's World. It launched only with Walmart in 2018 and has made over $250 million in 2020. Now you can get his line from other stores as well. He also signed a deal for a television series with Nickelodeon and Amazon. Before YouTube, Jeffrey Star supported himself doing different makeup and modeling jobs. Jeffrey joined MySpace and had one of the largest followings. He received tens of thousands of comments on his posts. He blogged about life, fame, beauty and posted his music. 
His first video on YouTube was in 2009. It was actually to promote his music career. In 2014, his music career wasn't panning out, and he was almost bankrupt. Jeffrey used his life savings to start Jeffrey Star Cosmetics. He used YouTube to promote himself and his brand. Jeffrey Star Cosmetics now earns an estimated $100 million a year. It's pretty safe to say that was money well spent. Jeffrey also made $18 million off YouTube alone in 2018.